The following podcast has been rated Listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. In the walkway, a poop. (laughs) 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 The womb nuke. Uh, I see a picture of you with me naked. <laughs> I'll tell you a picture of me naked, you'll love it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty Gurman, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick. And alongside me, not as usual, I have two guests, though. First, he is the best DEI hire of all time. Please welcome back Mr. J. P. All right, that's enough. Okay, I like it. Uh, But... Listen, I know I, I know we advertised that we were going to do an episode with my brother, Fred. I'm definitely not your brother. <laughs> no. No. Uh, but surprisingly enough, we did. It just fucked up. So oh. naturally, uh, yeah, we had some severe audio problems with that whole episode. Hmm. Uh, but you know what? In my opinion, we got a better guess, which just so happens to be my wife. Uh, my wife. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Very nice. Uh, no, and, uh, and don't don't feel bad, honey, but I called everybody because it was an emergency to make <laughs> sure. Don't feel bad, honey. We tried everything everybody. else. <laughs> yeah. So I don't expect her to be uh, excited to come on the show, but I kind of think, yeah, maybe you are a little bit. It'll be I don't a know. good time, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be a good time. It was fun the last time yeah, we did it. Yeah, last time was just fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So anyways, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. This is a comedy podcast where we like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and very inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. This is also an adult podcast. We like to use foul language and offend people with very thin skin. So if you're one of those people, uh, <clears throat> my wife, uh, get the fuck out of here. Uh, and thank you and goodbye. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Wow. I know. Hey, I you're just, starting off like that. I know. I'm just okay. kind of poking the bear. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I let her sit in the middle just so if you started talking shit, she could reach over and smack you. I know, right? <clears throat> yeah, let's see. I think uh, eh, that's probably a little bit better. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is I gotta, wrong with I got to angle the... You're freaking out, I man. I know. I know. It's been a rough couple of weeks, but we'll yeah, get to that. Amen, we'll brother. Get, we'll get to that in a minute. Mm-hmm. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, we have an excellent episode for you today that we've already done. Uh, we've, <laughs> we've got hot topics. Never have I ever. That's where I draw the line. Questions and preguntas. Oh, a, man, these questions are crazy. I know. A draft. And as always, we like to end with the shitty situation. But we're going to talk to what has been going on uh, with us over the last uh, week and a half. Um, and we're going to always start this off with JP. <laughs> Yeah, As man. you can imagine, over the last week, I have been doing absolutely <laughs> nothing with my life to better it. I've just been destroying it further with <laughs> marijuana, video games, and bowling. Yes. Kind of what I do. Yeah. Uh, although, <laughs> I got paid today. Good for you. But the problem is, the walking went down a couple weeks ago, and we were closed for like four days. Oh. So, I didn't oh have that God. on my paycheck. The walk-in freezer. Yeah. Okay. So... It was like half a check. Yuck. And mm. my car battery went out. Yeah, oh, yeah. And yeah. I had to buy a new car battery yesterday. And guess how much that was? 200 bucks. Half my fucking check. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> so, yikes. Here's what I'm saying, man. If there's a sugar daddy out there, I don't even fucking care what you look like at this point. If you're willing to fucking support me, yeah, I'll fucking I'll suck your dick. I don't care. Yeah, I mean, I'm at that point, man. No, I and, I, uh, I get it. I get it. No, I got to do something to better my life. It's yeah, it, but and, it's really hard to quit smoking pot and cigarettes. I know. And really, that's all I need to do. Well, why? At you, least one or the other. At least cigarettes. Cigarettes. But that's so hard, man. My I, anxiety is. Yeah, could you try Zens or some shit? I've tried that shit, and it like I tried the uh, the pill. What the hell is it called? Oh, the one that makes you Chantex. F- oh, dude, bro, no, it made me go crazy. Hundred percent, it will. Yeah, 100% so I was percent, it will. I was driving home one night from a buddy's house out in Park City, 
and I was on the highway, it was on 235, and like everything else just kind of zoned out, and I could just hear myself going, man, why not just drive into fucking traffic right now? Yeah. We'll just cross over the median. Oh, no, no. And no. I like started to drift, and I was like, Ugh, and I fucking pulled over the side of the road and cried for 10 minutes, <laughs> and then I went home. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. I got home, and I was like, babe. <laughs> I was like... I think I might be stopping this Chantix because it's got to be what what is doing this. Because when I first started it, I was working at QT and I had a customer come in and I hadn't seen her in like three months. And she was like, dude, I started taking Chantix and I tried to kill myself. Uh And she was in the hospital for like two months. Yeah. Like it it really fucks you up. Is it still like something people... I don't know if people still do it or not, but... I won't be. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'll smoke cigarettes instead. I yeah. mean, at least that'll kill me slowly instead no shit. of driving into traffic. Exactly. But uh, I did think about it a couple of times last <laughs> week. <laughs> but, the last week? Yeah. You weren't even on Jantex. Oh, no. No, it's just depression now. Uh, yeah. But it's, it's okay, you know. Yeah. I mean... Yeah, that's kind of how it kicked off. Sunday, we tried to record an episode with, with Clayton, and uh, I get a phone call, uh, or I, I text JP because he was running late. And I was just like, hey, dude, and where are you at? I already told you you had to come pick oh, me up. And he was, like, he was like, you're supposed to come and get me, dude. Like, my car won't start. And I'm like, oh, I, mean, I my could best. walk over. Told me. Yeah. He, I could walk over. It's not that far. JP lives a legitimate five minutes away. But I also smoke a lot. So he can't so walk he or run walk. to the house. By the time I got here, I'd be like, fuck, I'd be done. Well, remember, <laughs> remember how last week we had uh, we had our buddy Steve, his uh, his fun run, where yeah. we had to run yeah, 4.5 man. miles? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, could you do that? Never. What's the furthest? Quarter mile. Quarter max. mile max. And that is, I'm going to need somebody at the fucking <laughs> mark of the quarter mile with a fucking O2 tank just fucking like, <laughs> come on, man, you can make it just a couple more steps. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you talked about when we did Steve's fun run. And before we get started, how you were bringing out your vape. And oh, everyone yeah. was like, what are you doing? And yeah. he's like filling it up and he had it in his hand. Yeah, well, the whole time he's, he's running. running yeah. Taking a hit on him running. And people are like, that Fantastic. can't be good. <laughs> that can't be good. <laughs> All right. Lungs of steel. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, that's awesome. Um, you know, just, you know, working them out, making sure they're nice, nice and strong. Yeah. Uh, but anyways. I um, bet you could blow up a mean balloon. Uh, no, I actually struggled. Like that was one of the challenges. That oh, that one was no good. That's funny. <laughs> you couldn't do it. He was I struggling. Could. I was struggling a little mm. bit. Yeah, I was just kind of like uh, just well, and I was I just got done running too, so uh, it's not it matters. Yeah, yeah. 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 Point. So, but I was smoking while running, so you know it is what it is. Um, if but, you could suck up a balloon, I think I'd be really good at that. <laughs> you could do it. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but anyways, uh, I'm very excited to have my wife on the episode today because um, this weekend uh, just so happens to be our 10 year anniversary. Wow, of, I can't. Of, of, that's of, hard to believe. Of of being married. Of being like, married. do you know how much better you can do? <laughs> like, oh, kills yeah. me. No, and and that's you know, uh, you know, if you were to give anybody advice out there, honey, about how could you make, <laughs> how could you possibly <laughs> fucking <laughs> wake up next to Scotty for that long? You know, uh, you know, if you give somebody advice to you know make that relationship last as long as we've been lucky enough to make it last, what's one thing you could give to somebody and say this is if you do this, it will really help your relationship. Uh, I just, I don't have any jokes. I wish I did. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's all uh, tragically real. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, S- I sit think, in the corner and don't talk. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like that. Uh, no, just like good communication. I think we have really good communication. Mm-hmm. We always want to understand each other. And, yep. um, That's got to be tough. D- I'm telling well, you, man. It's probably hard for him to understand me. I don't understand myself half the time so see <laughs> no but it's yeah, the vagina it fucks them all up man <laughs> fucks them yeah. all up at least i once love a month. i love them yeah, but I my know. god crazy. at least at least yeah. once a month that, that you gotta be on on your toes uh <laughs> but no it's been i mean it's been a it, it feels like it's gone by so fast i can't believe it's been 10 fucking years since we've been married i can't uh, you can, oh, no. <laughs> She's got little fucking <laughs> scratch little marks on the wall. Yeah, fucking, no, no fucking. shit. Uh, but no, somebody mentioned that to me today, actually. Like, they were coming in and looking at our picture because we had, mm-hmm. uh, I have a picture of our wedding day on my desk. 
And I was like, yeah, 10 years. And they're like, no fucking shit. I'm like, yeah, it's been 10 years. And I'm very excited about it. Um, but anyways, uh, what are you excited for uh, this week, ma'am? Oh, coming up this week? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, we're going to Florida. Yeah. Yoo-hoo. There's oh, many. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, that was my bad. With any luck, they'll keep them there. <laughs> But no, I don't. There's no, lots I'm excited about going there. We're doing all four Disney parks, and we're going to Universal. There's yeah. a really good sushi restaurant yeah. that I'm super excited about, and just getting away, yeah, having some time. And we're going with um, Fred and his wife, yep, who we spend a lot of time with, and it'll be fun to take a little vacation. With I would them. like to spend a lot of time with Fred and his wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, just throwing that out there. Yeah. <laughs> Darcy, Fred, if you're listening, there's nothing wrong with a thruple. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, they could support me for sure. Oh yeah. So, uh, I mean, well, that was the other thing. I mean, this was the first time you actually got to meet Fred's wife well, oh, because we did an episode. Yeah. She actually was supposed yeah. to be on the episode yeah. being the sports knowledge that she has, which she did. Oh yeah. And it was great. She was awesome. Fuck that episode. God, I'm so mad. It was a good show. Uh, but mm. anyways, it fucked up. She's it's going to cool, be though. better now. It's going to be much better now. That's right. Um, so, yeah, we're very excited to uh, to go on um, our 10-year anniversary trip. It, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I was it contemplating. Is, what? It is so funny, though, because we're going on, like, our 10-year anniversary trip, but with, with other another yeah. couple. <laughs> yeah. And we're also sharing a room. Yeah, that's true. So it's kind of weird. They got soundproof walls, bro. We're good. Well, it's like a room, and it has like a living room. Yeah, it has, yeah. Like so it's got two. It's got room, separate bedrooms. So one of you guys, you're all going to be sleeping in the living room. N- no, no. Well, it, actually, the biggest reason why we wanted that was because Scotty snores this really is bad true. sometimes. Yeah. And they were like, we can't handle that. So <laughs> dude, I will, I will evacuate a room with how loud I snore. But you're, you're sharing a room anyway. Well, we're sharing well, kind of, sort of. It's like me, a living room. There's a living room and it's two bedrooms. Yeah. Oh, there's okay. Like a yeah. Got room you. That's all you had to say. Oh, never mind. I, I, know, guess not. I know what a suite is. Oh, just one bedroom. I guess so, two yeah. Beds. It has yeah. two queen beds in it. I guess you guys can't do it. I mean, well, I mean, they, I guess you can. They're not going to be there all the time. Okay. It's, I don't know why I brought good. that up. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Moving on. I mean, 10-year anniversary. Way to go. He probably gets to put it in the butt, doesn't no. he? <laughs> I think that's the thing. That's 10-year anniversary is the butt right. anniversary. Yeah, I think I think you're right, Jake. I think I it's do. 10 and aluminum. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> Jesus. That a girl. All right. I was trying to look up something <laughs> yeah. earlier oh. for tonight. Oh, that's okay. It wasn't going to be funny. So. Um. <laughs> Don't worry. It's great. Uh, but no, uh, so yeah, very excited about going on the trip. Unfortunately, over this last week, it, it has been a rough one for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, unfortunately, my my mother's mom uh, passed away, so my grandmother on my mom's side, uh, she, was, she was elderly. She was probably in her early 90s, and so we all kind of knew it was coming, but that means that I have been on fucking edge for the last, like, week and before. Uh, and it's just been really difficult. So I do apologize if I have been short with anybody or angry with anybody. I, it has spilled over into my life. It you, really has. You've always been short to me. I buddy. know, man. I know. I've been I've been a very very angry person, and I do apologize. But um, it, it's gonna get okay. It's just a lot of pressure coming from the family to try and still go and and do that thing, and still be able to go on the trip. So it's just been extremely stressful and. Now we have this episode that we are recording, which I'm very excited to do. But then also tomorrow, JP, myself, <laughs> and Mike are going to attempt to make another episode for you guys while Three we are on. Three episodes in, in one, four days. Four days. <laughs> Fantastic. So, so for what it's worth, for ne- next week's episode, JP's week, week recap is going to be, be real short. Lit. Yeah. <laughs> so Hold on to your belt buckles. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but uh, just giving you the preemptive warning for that. But over this last uh, weekend... Uh, We did try to have, or I think it was the weekend before, so it was after we recorded, I believe. Didn't I talk about Range Day or not? No, I Yeah, you talked about Range Day Uh, when we recorded. Yeah, that's right, because... Clayton was here, and we went together. We went together, and I I had a a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun, because we actually got to dial in and do like Did you go to the range, Elena? She didn't. No? No? She Mm -hmm. didn't, but we're probably going to go together here soon. Do you like to shoot guns? I've only gone, I shot like a handgun, like one day. Yeah. We shot a couple of different handguns. And what if we put fine. Scotty down range? <laughs> <laughs> no. No? Oh, okay. Yeah, so, but it's been a long time. I, well, I think I'd have fun. <laughs> she, 
she would miss every target. <laughs> they would stick you down there and That's fucking right. just first <laughs> shot. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, but no, I'm really excited. No, I'm a good shot. Though. She yeah. she really is. She's nice. a better shot than I am. Um, it's uh, like I think women have a lot more patience, and so they're steadier yeah. in situations like that. Yeah, uh, so they're more accurate. Dude, that's true. I've got a buddy that coaches. Uh, the circle high shotgun team Mm -hmm. and he says the girls man i'm telling you are like dead ass i'm telling you better than the boys oh yeah uh and when we were down there with clayton it was really cool because we kind of got our own like little um i don't even know what you call it it's kind of your own range but it's outside and so there's berms on on all three corners of you and uh so we got to do like tactical setups and stuff and practice and then we got to go my favorite part um, was we took the ARs over to the long range. Oh, yeah. Oh, buddy. There's just something about just being able to sight in at 200 yards and hit it with ease like four or five times in a row. It's fucking awesome. It was so cool. And so I'm, I'm really excited to take her out with the rifle yeah, and have her do it. She'll fucking enjoy that shit. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, that, that's that been my week over the last week and a half or so. Uh, Bummed out. I know. I know. Fred would probably be able to talk more more stuff about the whole range thing, but it's been you know whatever. But I do want to give a a secret thank you uh, shout out to a gentleman named Sean Parks. I'm not going to tell why yet because Fred and I are talking about some stuff, and uh, it might be something that drops in the in the future. We shall see. You know. Look, if it drops before I get a wireless microphone, <laughs> fucking heads are going to roll. That's all I'm saying. I don't know. Do whatever you got to do. You're going to be a part of it, too. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to need a wireless fucking microphone. Okay. We'll see what we can it's do. It's going to be hard to fucking. I know. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, anyways. Not that I don't love this microphone. <laughs> right. It's the right shape, at least. But. You know, yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, the other thing is, is I wanted to at least bring this up. Uh, the day that this uh, episode will air just so happens to be uh, September 11th. That is the 23rd uh, year anniversary for September 11th. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy that it was that long. It's pretty ago. nuts. That is crazy. Yeah. Anybody? Oh, uh, I was young and cute. Yeah. I had hopes and dreams. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember where you were? You were in school, weren't you? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I was. Uh, I was working at QT at the time, oh, that's and I was right. working nights. Yeah. And so I was in bed. It was actually I my day off. So I was in bed, and then I woke up. I think maybe right after the first plane had hit, and yeah. so everything was just kind of like, "Oh my god, a plane hit! Mm-hmm. We're not sure." And then you know it unfolded from there. But man, yeah, I mean, I was. Do you remember? I didn't move from the fucking couch. Yeah. Oh yeah. The whole fucking time. Just, yeah. It was crazy. Yeah, I was crazy. In, I was in elementary grade. school. <laughs> oh, good for you. <laughs> I was in fifth grade, but then they brought Fantastic. the TV in. Yeah. And we watched it all afternoon, and I'm, and then looking back on that, I'm like, as a fifth grader, well, why? We were watching why Death were we Live. Doing that? Yeah, we. That's what we were doing. I was in. I was in. I it's think a little much for I think a fifth grader. Like, yeah, I was I would a little say, young. I would say I was in eighth or I thought I was in eighth grade. My only. F- oh yeah, I'm four years older than you, but we're three grades yeah. d- uh, separated. Okay, I was pervert. <laughs> 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 Not only did I marry up, but I married it, young. Yeah, I had a, <laughs> so, had a kid. I did that too. Years. Yeah, and I mean, I guess that's that why was I'm single now. Dating, so it was kind of yeah. Hmm. Uh, but hey, do you remember where you were when Tower or Building Seven went down? Building Seven that, was that's the one that everybody says is it just is, blew up. Just blew up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Had to throw the yeah. conspiracy theories in yeah. there. My bad. I knew that's where you were going. I know. Up. I know. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, let's move on because we got a lot of the stuff. The plane was a hologram, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, there was no plane. It's some kind of fishy shit going on there. Anyways, uh, the <laughs> fishy shit. That's what I meant to say. What fishy shit. <laughs> fishy shit. There's some fishy shit going on here. I don't think there was even a plane. I think the plane was just a complete hologram. <laughs> This fissy sit. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, Very good. My bad. That's my fault. Let's hope uh, the audio fucked that up, too. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, the cheapest way to support the show is to drop a like. If you uh, if you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do that. And uh, pause the episode. Leave us a comment. Uh, question for any of us. Uh, yeah, we she's would starting like to that. take clothes she's off. She's starting to take Holy clothes fuck. off. That's the oh. sign. Holy moly. That's the sign right there. Uh, but yes, please do that for us. That does indeed help us out. I did find out we are still not being monetized, but uh, shocker, big, big surprise. 
Big surprise. But maybe yeah. if we get I enough- wondered I wondered why my paychecks were so small. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no shit. Uh, but anyways, uh, that does help. The more followers we get, the more, uh, you know, uh, more strength we have, I guess. Uh, but let's move on to hot topics for this week. What is it? Huh? Hot what topics. are we doing? Hot topics. That's better. Sorry, <laughs> my bad. Uh, but guess what? If you're, if, if if you have been living in a fucking barn for the last week, the NFL season has kicked off, baby. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Your team won, my team lost. Nope. Oh, well, yeah. My team my team won. My actual team won. My but not fa- your fantasy. fantasy team took no. a fucking nosedive. Yeah, so I had a request from a fan today that uh, we yeah. should talk more about fantasy football. Are you like, serious? Like sports. Like we should spend more time on it. Well, guess what? Because that's what they miss. Okay. Well. Uh, so I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> you, t- <laughs> you talk about fucking gay ass fantasy football for a minute. No, we are. We are yeah, gonna- we will. And we will. And yeah. I'll get into that conversation because even though I'm a Broncos fan, I know a little bit about it. That's true. The other thing is is that all of the other sports, uh, whenever they're going on, they're kind of dead uh, to us at this point. So football, when NFL football kicks off, it tends to be a lot more of a topic. Whenever Derek is here, he likes to talk NBA sometimes. It's just what we're interested to what's we're, what we're interested in. So that's just kind of the way it works. Uh, but the first thing we were going to talk about are um, – the uh, the criminals of the NFL, and that is going to be oh, the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, we're going to kick right off with that uh, because I figured we might as well go ahead and and talk about uh, the guy that dresses up like a wolf and was a Chiefs fan. Yeah, that dude, that's around. old news, bro. No, I know, uh, but he actually got sentenced. Yeah, he, he got did sentenced, get sentenced for seventeen years. Uh, so, uh, but he's you know. but man, didn't he steal like? He had seventeen ridiculous robberies. amounts of money. Eight hundred thousand uh, dollars. That's not. That's not good. If he I mean, had that's that not many good. Ro- and that's all he got. And eleven robberies. Right. He should have been. Times. He should have been. He's not a very efficient robber. No. Wait, you eleven know or se- it says seventeen. No, he oh, gets seventeen, 17 years. years. Oh, yeah, Lord seventeen years. Eleven robberies. He pled guilty. So do they? So. Do they fine him too? Like you owe us all that money back? No, you just owe us seventeen years of your life. I don't know. And then that, and then you get the money. I don't know. Because I'm thinking about robbing a bank. <laughs> 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 Fuck it. <laughs> I mean, probably compensated. Look, it. you get three course meals. Let's be honest. I don't have seventeen years left. <laughs> 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 oh, you sell yourself oh, short, no. JP. Um, but yeah, and then the other criminal I wanted to talk about is Taylor Swift uh, because uh, she steals the NFL season every single year. She when the Chiefs steals play. my heart. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm a Swifty. Uh, like <clears throat> of course you do. It is the best marketing. But I Can do you agree, not? Like I, I wouldn't. I don't know. Like one saying she's there or whatever. Who cares? Maybe it's occasionally great that like she's there. take a look at her. But I, I last year I love there were it. times where I was like, okay, this is. Why wouldn't Excessive. you if you're the NFL? Do you know how many little girls watch football now? Oh, it's brilliant. Now? Oh, oh, yeah, it's definitely dude. helped. It's totally brilliant. Like oh. way more but women and younger So they did that. You know, they've been doing that now. Nickelodeon thing for a couple oh, of years. Yeah. Trying to get oh, I know. more kids, kids? involved right. in football. Yeah. But we would read one book yeah. in a library. Right. And everybody's up in arms. Well, Like, don't let the gays read book. Don't let the drag queens <laughs> read you a book. But let's fucking All NFL's just like grooming the kids. That's fine. As long as you're grooming them to play football and not suck a dick, <laughs> then I don't have a problem with it. That's all I'm saying. Good. Good, JP. Okay. But I'm just I was just kind of saying, you know, it's kind of cultural appropriation. This was, yeah. this was the guys thing and all of the tom girls that liked sports. This was our thing. And now we've got loud ob- obnoxious bitches at football games. Dude, leave Patrick Mahomes' <laughs> wife out of this. Dude. You forever would be like, I really I just, want you to pay attention to I know. football. I'm totally blah, kidding. Blah, blah, blah. And All now you're complaining about women no, watching football. I, oh, no, I'm not. I'm no, making- but they shouldn't be fucking refereeing it. <laughs> I can tell you that. Goddamn broads with whistles. What's going on? Yeah, and, and, and it just goes to show. Did you see some of the officiating that was going on during the Kansas City Chiefs game? I think they were all broads. <laughs> <laughs> so many bad calls. Yeah. Uh, how many illegal formation penalties were missed? 
missed against Kansas City because there was quite a few called against the Baltimore Ravens. Yeah, like fucking in four. a row, right? Like four. Big time. Yeah, there's yeah. a uh, there's a player named Jawan Taylor who is – he is the guy who always <laughs> false starts on the strong side, and he also lines up uh, like a half a foot behind the offensive line as well. And I know some of you are going to argue with me on that, and I don't care. You're bullshit. It's totally true. <laughs> Um, but yeah, then you get uh, assistant coaches being allowed to call a timeout, which they were given said timeout without any penalty. There was that, uh, but yeah, it was. I wish I remember. But when they Darcy were said the, the, the timeout thing these. was <laughs> the timeout thing was not that big a deal because Andy Reid called timeout. That's who got I, I, the timeout. I saw. I, I it wasn't saw even the same ref that granted it. Okay, well then, then I'm okay with that. But I will go. I will say this: the final play of the game where the Ravens receiver, which I believe, if I remember correctly, it was Isaiah Likely, but I can't remember now, so if I'm wrong, I apologize. But he was out of bounds. He was out of bounds. That was the correct call. And I I can't even remember. It's been a couple of days since the beginning of the season, but I want to say that they uh, did initially call it a touchdown and then reviewed it, and then it was well, of course. It, it was definitely out of bounds. So, But it was close. It was really fucking close. It was yeah. a great game to they kick off the, the season. They made the right call. They did. They made, they made the right call. So okay. there was that. And then we got the first Friday football of the season, which was held in Sao Paulo, Brazil. What a fucking mess that was. God damn it. Yeah. But they knew going in that it was going to be like that. Did they? Yeah, because they're playing on a soccer field. Mm. They've anytime they've been in Europe and played on like a soccer field or whatever. Yeah, it's trash because it's so soft. Yeah, they're, it's not made for fucking that many big motherfuckers to be grinding on that field. It's yeah. made for fucking Pele to be fucking dancing across it. You know what That's I mean? That's a good point. I wasn't even thinking about that. Like most soccer players, they talked to a lot of the players, and the players were all like, "Look, we knew, we oh. knew it was going to be this bad." What I fucking can't believe is they're willing to fucking let them just ruin that fucking <laughs> field, field right? because you know how expensive that is to returf. Oh, I'm oh, sure, I'm sure. It's natural grass. Oh man, I never even thought of that being. That's such a good point, JP. Because most soccer players like drip and wet are 145 right. pounds. Yeah, and they're just dainty little fucks yeah. made out of made out of yeah. tissue paper. So meanwhile, it, you got these guys in one concentrated spot. I was gonna say they're like also right in the middle of the fucking more. field. Yeah, most yeah. of the time in between some hash marks and just fucking going to town. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, that's crazy. And there was a lot of people obviously slipping and sliding all over that bitch. So it was an absolute clusterfuck. Yeah. And I don't blame the players. I don't blame and the team. And what the fuck are they doing playing there anyway? They're just trying I to guess. they're trying to spread the Taylor Swift I, idea, dude. I guess. Nickelodeon, Taylor Swift, and Sao Paulo, Brazil. Yeah, because we're you gonna know? have a Brazilian team in the NFL anytime hey man, now. Whenever planes can get to destinations dude, really quickly. Dude, can they like fucking like Kick it like soccer style. Can that would just be okay. Dribble down the field. That would be hot. I would be. I would, that'd I would, be cool. That'd be, oh, that'd be fine with that. But but yeah, uh, the thing that pissed me off the most about that is those bastards made me subscribe to Peacock again. Yeah. Fuck you guys. You have to get used to that, buddy. That's the way that TV's going in general. I know, but I still. I hate him for doing yeah. that. It absolutely sucks. Yeah, on Thursday you were like, "I'm not watching football tomorrow." Yeah, and then an hour before the game, we were going to go. Honey, we got Peacock. Fry's house, <laughs> and what... then he's like, "Well, they're going to be there late, so I'll probably get Peacock this year." And then I realize he's literally watching the football game. I'm like, yeah. "Wait, He'll I didn't probably. think you would right now." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, honey, I got Peacock. Yeah. Yeah. So, fuck you guys for doing that shit. Uh, but next, we're going to move on to another criminal situation. He used to be a Kansas City Chief, but now he plays with the Miami Dolphins. He's a smooth criminal. Yeah, he is a smooth criminal. But yeah, Tyreek Hall was uh, not yeah. arrested. Tyreek Hill? You said Hall. Did I say Hall? I he meant Tyreek Hill. Because you're retarded. Okay, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah Tyreek Hall. My bad. Tyreek Hill. Uh, We're used to it. He was put in handcuffs. I don't believe he was arrested, but he was en route to the <clears throat> Dolphins. He was, he was fucking detained. thrown on the ground and fucking. Oh, we'll get to that. It was ridiculous. It was. So they did not disclose how fast he was going, at least to this point. Dude, what did you see his car? Yes. He was going real fast. <laughs> <laughs> I know I would have been. Absolutely. What was it, a McLaren? A McLaren. Oh, God yeah. damn, that thing was bad. Oh, it was bad. Like it's the, bad sound, the sound, the oh, sound. Yeah. The video of the car i'm like oh, oh so i gotta get me one of those and i've seen okay and here's the thing obviously the body cam footage has come out which i hope yeah, everybody what, has yeah. watched that and and i've watched it from beginning to end like the first police officer trying to go up and get him getting him to roll down the window and I, i'm seeing that and at that point whenever i get pulled over i don't know about you guys but the window is already rolled the fuck down and my hands are at 
10 and 2 with driver's license in one and my insurance in the other. Well, because you're black. <laughs> well, a little bit, but not much. Okay. <laughs> but anyways. I think you're going to be just, okay. I'm, that's the way I was have always Have you ever stopped. seen the white guys get pulled over that have their conceal and carry? Oh, I've got a gun. And the officer's like, okay, where's it at? No big deal. Yeah. If a black guy gets pulled over, he's like, I got a gun. He's like, freeze, motherfucker. <laughs> You, let me see your hands, hands, hands. Okay. Yeah, dude. Now, I think you're going to be fine. <laughs> no, yeah, because I always do have mine yeah, on me. Right. But the other thing, though, is is that um, I also saw some pretty shady shit from the police department as well. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that. The, uh, I, the fact that they didn't even recognize who that was in the car that I think was that's driving. Just, I mean, I think that's beside the fact. Yeah. But, dude... He was kind of a dick to them. Yeah, he was. But that's not an excuse for them to do what they did. I, like, I, I'm to, like, you can't just yank somebody out of their car because they're being a dick. He provided the information mm-hmm. they asked for. Yeah. He had his window rolled all the way down originally. He did? Yeah. Then it was rolled up before oh, they took oh, him out. Oh, it was. He rolled it back up. Like, I don't have to fucking deal with you people. You know what I mean? Like, See, you know who the of, fuck I am? Yeah. I'm Tyreek Hill, bitch. Yeah. So... <laughs> But, you know, but that's not an excuse to fucking drag him out of the car, throw him on the fucking ground, like forcibly fucking yeah, cuff him. I, I agree. When he got up, he's all fucking dusty. Yeah, I, I do. A Looked kind of, like he needed to put lotion like on. I see, I see both sides of this, though. I see both Actually. sides, especially if they didn't. Yeah. I, 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 like, um, I do kind of see that these police officers don't want to get into a situation to where if if they don't know who that is and it could be somebody who is violent because they're being difficult or something like that, then yeah. maybe yeah, you gotta use caution. But throw them to the ground, okay, that's a little much. You, like, you know, yank the yank door the door, open. door o- up when and he, do that shit. When he goes to open the door, he doesn't know how he to open. Know that it's <laughs> he's a like, he, yeah, he, he, he thinks it's out. gonna pull out and, and then it just fucking goes, goes up, up and you can see like the a very very. Quick burst of like, oh fuck, what happened? Yeah, and then exactly. they just go in and grab him. Yeah. It was pretty funny. So I do. I think it was a just a smidge excessive. Yeah, but, uh, just yeah. a bit. Whole bunch of stuff's coming out about that, and uh, that is all I'm going to say. We about stand that. with Tyreek. I sure. I mean, all right, sounds good. I also right. think that there are cops out there that are on a fucking power trip in a lot of For situations, sure. and, and there's also a lot of really, really good cops out there. That's what I was going to say. I mean, there are. there's there's bad ones and good ones, just like there's just good like, people yeah. at work and bad people at work. It's kind right. of the same thing. Good people on the show, bad people on the show. Yep. <laughs> we won't disclose which is which. We'll let you guys figure that out for yourselves. Yes. Uh, and Tell then, us in the comments. Yeah, yeah. No shit. Thanks, Scotty, guys. Appreciate Scotty, it. Scotty, Scotty, yeah, Scotty. I, I still get so much <laughs> shit for, on this fucking show. Oh. Uh, yeah, I know. Okay. But yet, I'm here. I am putting on another show for you guys because, you know, my life sucks. Uh, but um, <laughs> I got nothing else going on. Yeah, oh. right. Uh, Sorry to hear about it. We're also going to move on to some other criminal activity. Um, 49ers Ricky Persall. I can't remember how he pronounced his name. That's okay. Uh, but he was shot in the chest during a robbery attempt in San Francisco. He plays for the, the San Francisco 49ers. Dude, there's video footage of this dude coming out, like getting on the fucking ambulance with like a sh- his shirt, just covering it up, just applying pressure, just to try to get in the fucking ambulance. And then on Monday night in San Francisco, it was a really cool thing that he did. He actually hugged the first responders and had that kind of little thing out on the on the field. Luckily, the motherfucker, it got hit, shot in the chest and it went through and through with no organ damage. So he wasn't the robber. No. Okay. Oh. No, he, got he shot. wasn't he the was robber. The, he was the robbie. Oh, they were trying to break into his house. They were trying to rob him. I think it was like in a public place, like a like a bar or something. And the shit police like shot him. No, no, the robber, oh, the the robber, robber yes. shot him. Yes, the robber was like, "Give me your money." He was he's trying like, to rob fuck him. Fuck you, bitch! And he's like, "You know who the fuck I cack?" I don't even know if it was a robbery attempt. That's all I got. It could have just been uh, like an attempt. At I did. Murder. I can't believe I didn't hear about that. Oh yeah, that was a big no. deal. I do remember hearing about how he was shot and it was through and through, and somebody was like, "If it was just a little bit lower, I, think I bet Aaron Rodgers paid really him." To do it. <laughs> <laughs> Turns I mean, out, didn't matter. And he's only going to be out for like three to four weeks. I Turns think, out, like didn't that. really so, need him. Yeah, it's okay. They uh, they ended up taking care of business. Yeah, they did. Holy yeah. moly! But yeah, that that was my takeaway for a lot of the week. Obviously, the Detroit Lions ended up just uh, David Montgomery just absolutely stone rolled into an overtime victory for the Detroit Lions. That was great. Um, how'd your Denver Broncos do down there, JP? Let's not talk about it. All right, it. just wanted to make sure I The defense looked pretty good. Yeah. Uh, offense, good. 
not so much. I was uh, I was really pumped. But that's what happens when you pay your quarterback to go play for another team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who, he's not and not even playing. And he's right? not even playing. Playing. Yeah. Uh I guess the Pittsburgh Steelers are preparing just an 8 million dollar gift. Here, we'd love you to have this. <laughs> I just set it on the coffee table. You don't even have to use it. And he just didn't. so people know we gave it to you. And the Steelers are actually preparing for week 2 to also again start, start Justin Fields. Justin, of course, who yeah. wouldn't? I'd start it's, Justin yeah. Fields. Uh, I was really impressed with Baker Mayfield and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offense. Uh, I think he had four touchdowns. I think he was like the number one overall quarterback of the week, if I remember correctly. If not, he was very close. Um, but yeah, that was that was pretty I'm much. Glad my to take see on. him do well. I am too. It took him a minute. Yeah. To- there's a lot of people in Cleveland that are calling up to radio shows wanting to oh, talk about it, and yeah. the, and the radio people are losing their shit. It's yeah. fucking hilarious. Yeah. Um, and I'm trying to think anything else. Uh, hey, Aaron Rodgers did actually make it through a made whole it through game. A whole game. Good for him. Didn't play Good, very yeah. well. Did, I mean, I thought he looked okay. Every time he threw a pass and they didn't catch it, he was like, oh. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, granted, they were all pretty good passes, and they probably should have caught them. Sure. But, I mean, you're playing for the Jets now. Yeah. This is not Green Bay anymore. You can't just huck the ball up and hope that they're going to come down with it. it. (laughs) Right. It's not how that works now. But at the same time, the Niners look fucking good. They look real good. They're going to be good. I think think we're going to have a repeat of the NFC Championship. If I get things my way, I think it'll be the Lions in San Francisco again in that spot. Lions look good, too, man. Uh, Lions look good, too. Um, I, I was very pleased with that. Especially, I mean, did yeah. they look as good? Oh, no, definitely I not. I don't know. No, definitely not. I don't know. But, you I know. think it's going to be a long, hard season for you, buddy. Ah, uh, shut up. I, um, need some, I need some company in the basement. <laughs> no, I don't want it. Uh, but last, but certainly not least, <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, but last, but certainly not least, unfortunately, over the last couple of days, we found out that James Earl Jones has passed away. Yeah, damn it. At uh, 93. So, very sad. Yeah. Uh, so and crazy. That's, yeah. It's crazy. I had no idea he was that old. Yeah, man. I mean, I knew he was up there, but when I found he wasn't, in, you know, ninety three. Mm-hmm. Holy shit! Yeah, that's crazy. And I was looking up some of the roles that he did. I mean, there was some that I obviously see, knew about. What you see? What Travis Cagle posted? No. <laughs> no. It was. It was. It was the rest in peace. Yeah. James yeah. Earl Jones born died blah blah blah, and it said now heaven has the meats <laughs> <laughs> oh shit no, but it was funny no i liked it i saw another I post i don't funny. know whose it was but it was absolutely hilarious it was just like now god has given the job of his voice over to james earl yeah, jones right. i was like fuck yeah that's a true statement him and morgan freeman <laughs> yeah, morgan freeman's is still down here yeah but so i think that they could fucking they, oh, could, they could they could for like, sure still absolutely. collaborate all right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's Hot Topics. Now we get to move on to the fun parts of the show. Thank God. Thank God. I didn't come over here just to not have fun. Yeah, whatever. Uh, but yes. How are our voices? Our, they look good. good. They, look, they fun. look good. At least they look good. good. Everything <laughs> looks good. Fantastic. Uh, but yes, now we're going to... good yesterday. <laughs> I am so scared about asking some of these questions to my my wife. Uh, But we're going to kick this off (laughs) with Never Have I Ever. Uh, The first one comes in from Nicholas Proffer. He wants to know, Never Have I Ever Slept With Someone For Revenge. Uh, JP, go ahead and kick this off for us. (laughs) Crazy enough, man. I don't answer enough of these no. Yeah? And this is one I can say I don't know. I don't think I've ever done that. Have I ever slept with anybody to piss my boyfriend off? Yes, but that's not revenge. That's just fucking. How is that, not, is re- that not revenge? How is that not revenge? Because it's not like he f- he didn't like fuck somebody to make me mad. We were in an open relationship. We did whatever we wanted anyway. That's so weird. But so weird. I mean, I never slept with anybody for revenge. No, mm. I definitely. Well, that I, that one guy that gave me herpes. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I've I've never slept with somebody to get revenge, but I've hooked up with somebody to get revenge. Yeah, in high How school, about that? in high school, in college, it, wow. yeah, you bitches. Uh, if I got cheated on, uh, you cheated I, back. I, I know, no, 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 oh. no. Because like, if I got cheated on, the relationship was completely and totally over at that point, right? Because she's and already you trying to go fuck her friends. No, I never, I never tried to fuck any of her friends. So what happened? Did man? I? 
are you asking me? I don't know. Were, 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 were you rebound? So who'd you sleep? How'd you get revenge? What's the revenge? You said I you was did. Not, so mm, I, I, I don't think I was a rebound. I Okay, good. That that makes me feel better. I don't think I was <laughs> a rebound. Well, I'm pretty sure you were talking to another girl at the same time. Because I remember that. Uh, yeah, I remember that. Because you went to I a birthday that too. party, mm-hmm. drank some wine and I, I remember that. I, I remember jealous. that story. Yeah, I know. I get, yeah, whatever. Uh, but no, I think I we just... We may or may not have told that story <laughs> before. Uh, but no, I think, I think honestly... You should really start listening to the episodes. <laughs> no, please don't. Just the ones that you're on. Uh, but no, I... I like think I like I got I got cheated on, found out about it, and immediate was like, okay, I'm single. Who here wants to hook up? And was just like you. And people actually did. Of course, I'm shocked. I was a good looking guy back. You were. Mm-hmm. I seen a picture of you and your band. Oh man, uh, I'd have been a groupie. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, JP. You're welcome. Thanks, appreciate it. Uh, okay, honey, how about you? What? That was a compliment, Scotty. I know. Why'd you act like that? That's um, weird. Because that's what he always acts like. Yeah, it's weird. No, definitely not. Yeah, that's good. That's a good answer. That's correct That's answer. a good answer. <laughs> good, good job, good honey. Job. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, oh, my God. <laughs> what? Uh, no, we're just looking ahead at the next question. Uh, the next one comes uh, in from Reese Newland. <laughs> I think girls do this more, <laughs> so I'm really too. interested to find out her answer. Reese Newland wants to know, never have I ever answered the phone while masturbating. Yes. <laughs> 100%. More than once. I was going to say, it sounds like that's a common occurrence. Oh, yeah. I masturbate so much. <laughs> <laughs> Sooner or later, so, you know, you're going to get interrupted. Don't ever tell me if I accidentally call you in that. Oh, way. no. Thank you. I don't. I wait until after you call to start. <laughs> once, once I see you call and I answer, and then I start. Uh, I, my wife has called me in the middle of masturbating, and, and you answered. Yeah, you have. You, you answer? Well, I stop. I don't keep going. Yeah, <laughs> no. I'm, in the, I'm cooking dinner, babe. What can, what can I do for you? What do you need? I probably actually I think I can tell sometimes you like, oh, <laughs> yes. You heard that sometimes I'll call you and I'm like, he sounds busy. <laughs> <laughs> probably one of two things. So. I'm just like, what? It doesn't happen frequently, okay? It's just, no, just it has before. Can, no, I He's just, just laying yeah. there in his socks. <laughs> <laughs> Hundred percent. Oh, horrible. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's right. That's Just funny. in my socks. Nothing else but my socks. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, honey. Have have I ever called you while you were masturbating? No. Thank Has God. Has anyone? No. Oh. That's mm. great. Oh, thank God. Glad it's not awkward. Uh, <laughs> She's a chick. She puts her shit on silent. <laughs> yeah, she knows she, better. She knows better. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, yeah. Why are you answering the phone? Uh, just I, like I don't want to be. Back. I don't want to be rude and miss your phone call. It's like oh, so I'm maybe, the only person you've answered the phone for. I believe so. Oh, yeah. I feel special. Yeah, of course. Yeah. He was thinking <laughs> of you the whole time too. I swear. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. All of the time. Yeah. Uh, never any porn. <laughs> Uh, next one comes in from, uh, I'm sorry, last one comes in from Derek DuPont. Uh, he wants to know, never have I ever insulted a disabled person. Not on purpose. Can I say that? That's what I was going to say, too. Like, I didn't purposely. You can say, say that. Yeah, I, because that's me being honest, you know? Yep. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, because I, you know, you accidentally. Said Dude, I'm going straight to hell. <laughs> Wait, you don't think half the things you say on this podcast is questionable to disabled people? Yeah, oh, yeah. Mm. I think just Scotty being on the podcast <laughs> is an insult to disabled people everywhere. No, that's why. That's why. Um, you know, uh, can have a good conversation with them. We're on the same level. That makes sense. No. Okay. Yeah, uh, but, I won't talk about it much, but uh, no, but I uh, was a bad kid. But the, here's the mm. other thing: we've Are you made, a bully? yeah, mm. of course. So we had this that girl. We had this wheelchair girl. <laughs> oh my god, dude! Like I never like did this, but I did watch one of my friends do it and didn't do anything about it. But he would just oh. go up behind her and grab her and just start pushing her as fast as he oh fucking could. God. That's And mean. she would be like That's sticking mean. her fingers in the spokes oh, trying to man. fucking get herself to stop. That's mean. I Dude, yes, it's fucking horrible. <laughs> I was a That's fucking so dick. I didn't do it. But then one time we were going to lunch and it was snowy out. 
and like there's a sidewalk over to the fucking oh, yeah. lunch place, but then there's a big courtyard. Well, there's like fucking two foot of snow, and he just fucking shoved her out in the oh, middle of the fucking snowbank. Oh my and God. everybody just walked right by to go to lunch. Like, She's gonna come after you oh, at no. this point. She tried to wheel herself into traffic. Oh no, that's Are awful. You serious? Yeah, it's horrible. Oh, that's terrible, dude. I never it's your did fault. it. Fault? No, you man. You could have saved her. I should have. Yes. And now, right? I would. Would you? But yeah. then I was like, <laughs> I was struggling with my own sexuality. This is true. I was kind of getting popular at Excuses. that point in time. And so I didn't want to fuck that up. And Excuses. Like, you know, I was a kid, man. I was a fucking kid. Yeah, no, but I, I also, I, you know what I found so, so I'd like true. like to strap you in a wheelchair and push you into traffic. <laughs> and, 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 and everybody would probably like it, um, except for my Aww, wife. Yeah. Uh, but everything that I've learned on from doing the show. We'll from take over, out a policy first. Thanks. We'll be just fine. Anyways. He has an insurance policy. I do. Um, but every everything I've learned on this show for over five years is that whenever we make jokes about like a partic- particular demographic, like somebody who's in a wheelchair or somebody who is has Down syndrome or some, you know, any of those people that we've ever made fun of, there's always a couple of them that always comment back on our videos and go, thought it was fucking funny. I mean, that's great and all, but that just sounds like you're trying to play the it's okay card. No. Because it's not. No, we're not in, We're not intentionally right. trying no. to single anybody right. out. It's just right. a premise of a joke. And a lot of people who are in those particular particular situations think it's the funniest. understand right. that we're just joking and not yeah. trying to be dicks. Right. It's the people who have never been around those kind of people or are um, feeling um, sorry for them on their behalf. Right. Those are the yeah, people that are pieces are the of worst. shit. Well, so, anyway. Also, saying a joke is a lot different than what JP was just describing. Now, JP is a piece was, of shit. Dude, I am 47 years old. <laughs> I was 15 or 16. No. Well, then. And you said you weren't doing but still watching I did, saying anything. But the, you know. the whole goddamn school's dicks. Yeah. yeah. Everybody was watching. Nobody really did anything. Except for that poor little girl that you were fucking mm, just point. watching. Yeah, man. If I remembered her name, I would say sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, wheelchair girl. Yep. How about you, honey? Have you accidentally uh, insulted the disabled person? I mean, I've accidentally did it, and I don't know how insulted they were. They were, but I'll never. I feel like I almost said this the last time I was on here when I was a waitress, and I was trying to clear the table, and I was just like, "Let me give you some more elbow room." And then I like made eye contact with this person that had like a bow, <laughs> like no arm. And I was like, <laughs> um, wow. And then I didn't know what to awesome. say. And I was like, ah, bye. Uh, bye. <laughs> that's was awesome. so awkward. Dude, that is awesome. That's kick ass. <laughs> I love that. The yeah. fact that it was probably an amputee who just Dude. had it and, like cut off at the elbow. And yeah. I must have noticed it's and just been thinking about it because. That wasn't even like a phrase I said regularly. So I was like, what are you doing? It was that is, super embarrassing. That is awesome. <laughs> Freudian <laughs> slip. Yep. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Uh, but that is going to be never have I ever. Now we get to move on to JP's favorite part of every single episode. That is, that's where I draw the line. Love it. Love it. Uh, the first one is going to come in from at goodnight underscore underscore Cole. I he, keep meaning to look this guy up. I know, right? He sounds hot. Uh, but anyways, he wants to know what scary or dirty job pays really well, but you would never do. Gynecologist. <laughs> <laughs> Hard pass. <laughs> Hard pass. Man, I don't know. Maybe you'd, maybe you'd uh, be good at it. Yeah. I think I would not be good at it. I think it looks like an Arby's roast beef down there. So I mean, just every patient would be yeah. like, something's wrong with something, you. There's something wrong. Uh, <laughs> this isn't right. This should not look like this. I know that. Like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. What, so a, what about a proctologist? When, would you want to do that? Oh, I could do that. <laughs> okay. I could do that. <laughs> I'm yeah. Good. I couldn't be like an orthopedic surgeon either because I'm not like a foot person. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't even and think especially that the sometimes. kind of feet they have to deal with. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? They aren't oh. probably. The good. Have you seen the video of. Some of them no. taking be like the boots Mike. off of yeah. people and <laughs> yeah. stuff. Like Mike. <laughs> Mike, yeah. Fucking toenails oh, just everywhere. God, that's I know so, we're not supposed to bring that true. up anymore, but that's oh. what I would think of. Yeah, that's a good one. I actually yeah. think that that's a, a very good... Uh, 
good answer. But I, I am going to go with, uh, you know, those um, deep sea diving people that oh, yeah, go you and couldn't do that. shut up. No. Underwater welding. Uh, underwater welder, yeah. underwater anything. Yeah. Kiss my oh, fucking yeah, you ass. Definitely can't also, anything, anything with underwater. heights. No thanks. I don't. I don't think I'm too bad with Ooh. heights. It's the falling that scares the shit out of me. The heights, I don't think. Yeah, my ex like brother in law works no. on the windmills. Oh yeah, oh. no, I'm out. He makes so much. I money, know. Dude. He I know. Makes so much money. But then you oh. see those videos of those of the windmills that like have caught on fire, and those guys are just sitting out there, yeah, just waiting just to chilling up there, waiting, waiting to fucking di- waiting to go. Absolutely. Yeah, man. So, no, 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 no bueno. Yeah. I'm I'm with you, but those I have a lot of respect for those guys that like go to the really tall, tall buildings to replace the fucking light bulb like that. that Kiss my ass. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Window washers on those Or window, papers. right. That's what I was going to say on those. Absolutely. No, 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 no. Okay, no, no, all right. No, no. I'll go with you on that one. I, I have a feeling yeah. I would be pretty sketched out on no, that. There ain't no way. Being held, pay me held up by rope. Fuck you. Mm-hmm. All right. And that and that was yours. Nice I was going to say underwater welding, but then when you were talking about like the medical field and like yeah. dental anything, just because. I was like, a hygienist people, for a while. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, but also the scraping. I wasn't. That you couldn't tell. I wasn't, I wasn't a hygienist, but I did like cleanings and shit like that, like stuff that I didn't have to be certified to do. Oh, okay. At uh, at the uh, free clinic. At, why didn't Why didn't they get you in the chair and help you out, man? Well, because I'm beyond help. <laughs> Just kidding, man. Mm. Oh, Anyways, man. Love you. I want to fucking like you, man. I do. <laughs> I really do. Come on. You make it so hard. I know. I know I do. Uh, next one comes in from Big Mike F. Uh, he wants Big to Mike? Big Mike. He wants to know, at what point would you stop speaking to a family relative? Well, um, I have one of these. Oh. I do. I have one of these. I do not like speaking with her ever. Um, I do not like going over to family functions when she is there. Um, and it's mainly because like she, is, she has embarrassed me at my job. Oh, mm. She's okay. loud, obnoxious, <gasps> oh, makes up stories. <laughs> she, about. she sews, she knits underwear for other relatives and gives them as presents. Yes. Knitted underwear. hundred percent. For her. Knitted. For her, for her daughter-in-law. Uh, daughter-in-law. Daughter in- was it a wedding? Did she make any boys? No. Any boys knitted underwear? I, I bet she could. I bet you she could. Let's put it like that. Be yeah. a lot of yarn up there in the front for me. No. I could see why, like, coming to your work and embarrassing you, and because yeah. uh, knitted underwear is stuff. weird. Yeah, no, 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 that's no. weird. Because everybody then at work was just like, "Hey, this this crazy fucking lady is saying she's related to you," and I'm like, "No, she's not. Not by blood. She's fucking not. So no, absolutely not." Don't I don't want to have anything to do with her. So Scotty has a lot of relatives that he's actually not related to. Yeah, I don't know. I do. And the ones on that, that are the ones that are like, no, nope, no, nope, we're not <laughs> not blood, blood, not by blood. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, how about you, honey? Is there uh, what, what would uh, who would you kind of cut off and why? Well, I did one time because yeah, they said. I went through a breakup. This is before Scotty. I went through a ba- breakup, and they said I was going to go around and sleep with a bunch of people to feel better about myself. I'm so glad she didn't do that. So <laughs> I said, well, Don't worry, I did you're enough not for in the my life anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that'd do it. Yeah. How about you, JP? Yeah, I have. I stopped talking to my dad for several years mm-hmm. uh, over something really stupid. Yeah. Okay, that's I mean fair enough. So but yeah, stupid, I mean, serious. Well, I mean, it was really dumb. I fucking got. I broke up with my my ex, and I took my retirement out. I'd been working for QT for mm-hmm. twelve years, so it was mm-hmm. a lot of money. And uh, I fucking my dad would come over and mow. Yeah, because I can't because I'm highly like allergic oh, to yeah. pollen. Oh, okay. So if I mow, I'm fucked for like three days. So he would come and mow every now and then or whatever. Well, then I just didn't want him to have to fucking come out and do it. So I paid the fucking little hillbilly neighbor kids. (laughs) Holy (laughs) fuck. Like a hundred bucks a piece. Oh, wow. You had money back then. Yeah. But, and I only paid him that because (laughs) I was like, dude, those hillbilly kids will never have, you know. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think their parents were 
very misguided, but nice enough people. I think they cared about, you know, sure. giving them a decent fucking upbringing or whatever. But I was like, dude, if I was that kid and some dude gave me a hundred bucks, I'd be fucking so happy. Sure. And I didn't fucking, I mean, I had plenty at that point in time. So sure. I was like, yeah, I'll make these kids day. They did such a horrible job. <laughs> <laughs> But that's okay, too. But then my dad found out that I paid. the. There's four of them. Uh-huh. And uh, he's like, you th- th- fucking gave them what? And I was, he's like, I fucking mowed your grass for the last fucking three months, and I haven't got shit. And I'm like, really, dude? How long did you not talk to him for? Like five years. Oh, my God. That's a little much. Wow. That's a well, dude. mow in the yard. But I also don't really talk to much family anyway, so yeah, it doesn't take but a lot. But there were under, <laughs> I mean, there was... That was the fucking thing that I was just sure. like, okay, okay, fuck this straw that so, straw right, that broke the camel's right. There back. was other shit. Okay, that and, makes but sense. you're not my therapist, so I'm not <laughs> telling you. Uh, Eliana's pretty good. Eliana's pretty good. Uh, and last one, my uh, therapist jumped off a bridge. <laughs> oh. <laughs> or rolled into. I'll uh, never be able traffic. to forget this. <laughs> <laughs> And last one, where do you draw the line? This one comes in from Alan Moravec. He wants to know, how much alcohol, money, or pot would it take you to go streaking at an NFL game? I don't think it would take JP very much. I mean, anybody got five five bucks in a <laughs> joint? <laughs> I'm in. I don't, That's like way more extreme. <laughs> no. I, like money, money would be the how much it's going to cost me to bail myself out of said Prison. Yeah, I would want that covered. I yeah, guess. that would need to be covered. I how, can't even afford a car battery. Uh, <laughs> how much weed? I don't know if there's amount of weed that it would take because I get extremely fucking like um, paranoid. Paranoid. Yeah. So that's not going to happen. You, you would think everybody's looking at you, and they would be. <laughs> oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> However, if uh, if it was alcohol that was involved, I'm saying. To the point right before I'm blackout and I don't know where I'm at, I'd probably do pretty much anything. So that's uh, that's that. God. Just saying. No, I said blackout. Like I'd have to be blackout. I don't want to remember that. And yeah. also like ten million dollars. <laughs> yeah, wow. Like it's not happening. It's not. <laughs> I uh, I had like six beers once and blew a rubber glove up and put it on my head and yelled <laughs> and ran around the neighborhood naked yelling, "I'm a squid! I'm a squid!" <laughs> and that was I was only a six pack deep. <laughs> So, I mean, this sounds like it's right up my alley. It sure does. Uh, But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is That's Where I Draw the Line. We are moving right along. That is awesome. Uh, Now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. We had a whole bunch of good ones in this week. Thank you guys so very much for participating. You say that every week, and then these were good. Surely they're not. These are good. Okay. I'm going to take your word for it this week, and we'll see what happens. Um, but anyways, uh, we're going to kick this off with Alex Shinover. Uh, he wants to know, funny Instagram posts right after World War II. Instagram I, wasn't around right after World War II. That's not the point, honey. Mm. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Elena. <laughs> yeah, appreciate it. Well. We didn't know that. There goes that bit. <laughs> that, was, that, that went well. That went way better this time. <laughs> No, actually, honey, they were just mailing each other like memes. They were just kind of sending them out, uh, yeah, and making funny jokes underneath it. Anyways, uh, no, I think that there would be like a, a picture of like the coast of the, of Japan, and then it's just the nuclear bomb going off, and it just is them going, here comes the sun, oh, do 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 no. do. That's mine. Oh, no. yeah. I would say the same exact thing, mm-hmm. but it just says, Greetings from Japan. <laughs> you know, like, hey, you know how they... How they yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, how about you, honey? No, there's... There's, there's not... Th- there's it wasn't not, a thing. There was none. It's not a That's thing. That's what I got. Okay, fair enough. Uh, n- next one comes in from Travis Chrisman. He wants to know, what's the funniest thing to randomly leave at someone's house and wait for them to notice? You'll find out in a couple weeks. Fuck you. Fuck you, JP. Oh, I can't wait. No. I'm going to be here all by myself for a whole week. I know. Oh. I know. Oh, boy. 
Oh Lord! Just please, just oh. just bleach the bathroom whenever you're oh, done. Oh, it's All not right. the bathroom you got to worry about. <laughs> it's but my I'm very room. clean in the bathroom. <laughs> That's good. It's like your microphone <laughs> and this championship <laughs> belt and the Chicago Bears helmet. That's okay. You can do whatever you yeah, want with that. I'd fuck it right in the ear hole. So, uh, I, <laughs> yeah, thanks, buddy. Elena and myself probably have the same one because we actually did it to my brother. Yeah. Nope, it's not. Oh. I thought of a. Oh, okay. All right, fine. I I'll might offend someone on this. One. Okay, all right. Well, I I, uh, I actually did this to my brother. My brother left us in charge of the house. We'd go check on the dogs and stuff like that. So we got googly eyes and put them all over their house and, and hit them in different things. Like we put them on spices. There was a, a sculpture that was like at the very top that he still hasn't fucking found oh, yet. Nice. It's still and on it, them. That was really fun. Oh, yeah. It was a lot of fun. They were and very it's, mad when they first got home because they were like cranky from traveling, right. I guess. Nice. And then they were like, no, I can't. Okay, it okay, was funny. funny. Yeah, and yeah. it's like totally harmless. Cans. I hope you guys feel that way too. <laughs> yeah, thanks, <laughs> buddy. Like that. But that's the thing. I'm, it's totally harmless. I think I misunderstood the question because <laughs> <laughs> I thought it meant like what was it be something something you forgot at somebody's house. Oh. <laughs> so I said a breath. Thesis. A prosthetic a pro- leg. <laughs> oh, somebody's at the door. I forgot my leg. Let me in. Like that would be weird for you to forget. Yeah, and, can and you it would be weird to run across it. Right. What if you just found it in the freezer? <laughs> like it was a fucking yeah. My that question would be weird. is how fucked up do you have to get to order in order to forget? You know your leg. You're just what being carried out, and yeah, it just hits yeah, you on the way right. home. Like oh fuck, I forgot my leg. Uh, I don't know anyway. why that's why I thought of it. That's okay. <laughs> uh, next one comes in from John Gonzalez. He wants to know. Juan. Oh, um, no, it's John. I mean, it says John on the paper, but usually that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like it should be Juan. Okay, well, well Juan. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Yep, you're welcome. He wants to know, rejected sponsors for the NFL. <laughs> Eat a bag of dicks. <laughs> Eat a bag of dicks. .com. Dot .com. That's, uh, that's a good one. Um, how, how, how about, uh, how about you, JP? <sighs> I don't know, man. Testicular cancer awareness. Yeah. I mean, they probably do that already. No, they don't. No, they, they only they do should. breast cancer uh, awareness. Oh, they don't they give a fuck do... about the testicles. No, they don't give a fuck about those things. Yeah. No, they just want breast cancer awareness yeah. so they can appeal to, you know, all the, all the I people. don't know that they would reject any sponsor for the right amount of money. That's true. I mean, that is true. I can't think of anything that they'd be like, nope, nope, <laughs> can't do it. Not just, no. I mean, Catholic priests, I guess. Yeah, there maybe. we go. Let's keep on going maybe. that route. the Catholic church. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, but the Church for Latter-day Saints, they're in there. <laughs> they're in there yeah. all day. They sponsor a lot of shit. Yeah, they do. Mostly bicycles. Oh, yeah. Those I think bastards the, riding around my neighborhood. You know what? I got one. Yeah, they're not going to ever sponsor the KKK. Never in a million years. They won't, True. They won't ever sponsor them. No, they take that in the back door. <laughs> they take that around back. <laughs> yeah. Just give me the money, boys. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Uh, next one comes in from Keith Litsky. Donald Sterling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no shit. The Sterling Foundation That's would right. like to present this, yeah. this portion of the NFL. Yeah. Um, next one comes in from Keith Litsky. He wants to know if someone was able to borrow your body, what warnings would you give them ahead of time? You're going to shoot yourself in the eye. <laughs> oh, Be careful with that thing. It's loaded. That's disgusting. I thought you meant with a gun for a second. I'm like, what? No. Yeah. See, gun would be less painful. <laughs> no shit. shit burns. Yep. Um, your feet are abnormally cold. Yeah. No, but <laughs> all don't, the time. But That's don't worry, you have plenty of socks. So you're going to want to wear socks Always. all the time. Yeah. All the time. How about you, honey? I just thought, like, you're going to want to be horizontal a lot. Like, you need <laughs> a lot of rest. You want to lay down <laughs> abnormally a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Remember when I told you that the other day? Yeah. And you were like, I've never heard that before. And I'm like, yeah, I, I just need to like lay down. You're going to drool in your sleep for you. Um, yeah, man, I drool. Thanks for calling like, me right, out, I've yeah. been drooling in my sleep because my <laughs> allergies are so fucking bad she, lately. Doesn't matter. 
Oh yeah, you uh, just drool it does, sleep. That's it, good. I mean, I need to talk doesn't matter morning. all time because every single morning, every single morning, I always make a thing to give her a kiss before I leave and tell her I love her. So it's so funny because like there are some times where she'll like lift her head up to like dead oh, asleep and just no. she'll just go. <laughs> 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 I'm like, thanks, honey, appreciate it, love you, bye. Oh. <laughs> That's fantastic, right. love it. And the last question comes in from Taylor, Taylor Murawski. Absolutely. Um, but she does have a very, very, very good question. And that is odd things to see on highway signs. I got mine. Well, let's hear it. How about a jacked life semi truck trailer if you didn't see that on social media over the last couple of days? A what? Uh, it is a jackknifed semi truck trailer. That is no bullshit. Let me see if I can. Oh, yeah. It looks like that. Oh, yeah. I saw that. Yeah. That's that's an odd thing to see legitimately oh, on a, literally on, on, a, on a highway sign. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Thank I was, you. Oh, my God. Well, you know, it's been fun, and I've loved <laughs> to be here, and I've had a lot of fun over the, the past year and a half, but uh, I think this is it for me. I can't take it. Thanks, man. Uh, no, that was a good one, Scotty. Appreciate it, buddy. Very literal. Yeah. Um, but no, how about you? Instead of watch for falling rocks, it just says watch for falling dicks. Yeah, there you go. I like that one. Uh, I would probably just stay in the vicinity of that sign and, and probably pray. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's true. Uh, how about you, honey? I was just thinking like warning. What, what kind but of But that's it? That's just all it says? Warning. Yeah, just, dude, that's just awesome. Nothing, nothing to just, follow up with it. Yeah, warning. Yeah, I warning. love that. You're like, oh, fuck. What? what? <laughs> what? Dude, that would be funny just, shit. Like, what am I fucking warning. supposed to guess? Warning, next five miles. <laughs> like, <laughs> For what? Oh, everybody's, God. Yeah. Everybody's on fucking Maybe we should alert. go a different way. Oh, yeah, that would be great. That would fucking we be We should start um, putting those signs just up. Just random warnings. Yes. Okay, that's warning something. next five miles. That's that's something I can totally get behind. Yes. Very good. Love it. Ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's questions and preguntas. Look at you coming up with the funniest answer to a question. <laughs> Go, Elena. That. Um, but yes, thank you very much for participating in Monday, Monday Fun Day. If you are listening to this episode on Wednesday when it first comes out, go and check out Facebook.com or Twitter or Instagram for us uh, because I may be putting out a post for suggestions early this week since we're going to be going on vacation. So uh, keep your eyes peeled for that, for um, you know suggestions for next week's episode. I might be able to do that. What? We're recording next week episode so tomorrow. Tomorrow, so, like, yeah. so you're probably so you're probably not going to be able to do that. <clears throat> no, I am. If I'm gonna I'm gonna post the episode and make a post, and they'll be able to comment tomorrow when I'm. So right yeah, after. You, so right when after you're when you're listening to this. to this, and you've got a suggestion, go to our uh, our pages because I'm going to be using it for just that day. Fantastic. But anyways, now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines draft. Ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Um, I believe Jeremy Joseph won. Of course he did. I'm close, not surprised. Wasn't it? No. Okay, that's kind of what I figured. Not, it was close between us, which just fucking makes me want to jump off a cliff. But <laughs> that, that makes a little bit of sense, It was though. close between us, but Jeremy, fuck it. <laughs> now I know how you guys feel every yeah, week. Absolutely. It's not fun. I like to win. Yeah, it's not. It's the only thing I really got going for me. Right. So, uh, but that means that uh, by True. by yeah. default, that just happens to mean that JP gets the championship picks, though, because <laughs> Jeremy Joseph is not here. Still the reigning champion. I don't know if you get to call yourself that. I do. I don't think so. I do. Um, but because Undisputed. I... Undisputed. Okay, right. Um, I get the uh, Eiffel Tower picks, and uh, my wife uh, gets... My wife, the first gets, pick. <laughs> she gets the first pick, uh, and we are going to do uh, our favorite vices? Or, or just vices. Our vices. So we're yeah. going to draft our vices, um, and that means that uh, my wife gets to uh, let everybody know what the fuck is wrong with her. 
Oh. Well, this ought to... Why do you put it like that? I'm just saying. Well, this episode just got way extended. Because... <laughs> Shut I mean, up. I love her, but there's got to be something fucking wrong with her if she's been with you for 10 years. This is going to be a clue. This into... could be, yeah, this is going to be a real eye opener. <laughs> but anyways, honey, you get your first pick. What do you got? Um, I was wine. Wine? Okay. Uh, girl. Ah, uh, that, yeah, that's that's good. Yeah, that's you a good seem pick. like uh, you like a, 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 a nice glass of wine. <laughs> oh yeah, a bottle of wine, whatever it is. Yeah, you got hey, whatever I fucking keep whatever yeah. keeps you here for ten years. <laughs> I say, drink all the wine you want. <laughs> Valid. Uh, I uh, I am kind of going to go along the same line, but I'm I'm going to just go with alcohol in general. Okay. That is that is We're so when you can't way. steal someone's <laughs> so, answer, you so just use gonna... the same answer. <laughs> I know. So, so far, so good. Wine. I get it. Separate. Yeah. Separate. Well, her her pick was better because <laughs> she was more specific. Okay. So fine. when your wife beats you, okay. you won't be surprised. All right. Fine. I, I just in general. Uh, okay, uh, JP. You I'm get... going with my choice of wine, which is marijuana. Yeah. <laughs> I like to smoke my wine. That's fair. That's fine. Yeah. I like smoky wine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's really the thing that keeps me from jumping off a bridge. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> All right, JP, what do you got? Uh, let's go with cigarettes. Yeah. That's a bad one. Yeah. But it's definitely, man, it's tough. But uh, yeah, I love to smoke. Okay. Just in mm-hmm. general, I just I think I have like some kind of thing where I have a mouth fetish. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. That, I well, that makes in my mouth. a little bit of sense. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I. It's a recent one, but I mean, I guess it kind of is a vice. Gets it gets me off. It gets a lot of shit off my mind. Takes a lot of stress <laughs> off. It gets me off. Yeah, it does kind oh, of. <laughs> I'm just buying more and more shit for him, so I I am. I'm I'm gonna go with guns. guns. Of course you are, because you're fucking lame-o. I got a new uh, rifle sling today. Oh yeah, I'm very excited. Nice, very excited. Yeah. Is that innuendo? No. Oh darn. No, it's not. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna ask if I could see your rifle sling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, honey. What is you? You get two in a row. Okay. Um. TikTok. Yeah, that's a good one. That's true too. No oh, man, mm-hmm. yeah. I've lost hours, and it's, hours and days of my life. Oh, yeah. I know, and it, and it, it's a, actually it's actually kind of cool whenever she sends them like a whole yeah, bunch yeah, of yeah. ones to me that she either thinks that are funny or cute or you know sweet, yeah. and then I just respond back to her. I've already seen it, <laughs> right, right, <laughs> just yeah. like a Sometimes. bam, yeah. yeah. But anyways, all right, mm-hmm. and you get another one. Um. Probably reading. I've been pretty obsessed with reading right now. Reading smut. I wish I could read. No, smut. I read a lot of different things. I wish I could read. Yeah. I, I also do audiobooks. Oh, that I could do. Yeah, and that's that's. I a can read too. Smart way of doing. Yeah. It. I can't. I'm like blind, so I have to like read like yeah way out in front of me like. Oh, you okay. Just need some glasses. Yeah, get some readers, man. <sighs> I'm old enough. I don't need to remind myself. <laughs> just get them. It's just a, get them at. It's no big deal. Dylan's or yeah. Walmart or whatever. Right. You're already helping Speaking your of TikTok golf. and glasses. I seen a TikTok with this old lady that was trying on glasses at like Walmart or somewhere like that where they had just fucked up. Yeah, hold on. And she hung her glasses up. Oh, and geez. then she couldn't she find couldn't them. Find <laughs> <laughs> oh no. That's funny. Good. That's pretty good. I kind of uh, like yeah. that. <laughs> um, I'm going to kind of, I'm going to actually kind of be, be honest on with my next pick, uh, and it's not going to affect anybody else's fucking picks. Wearing <laughs> socks. That, no. That is not what I said either. That's what's going on That's the list. That's not what I She's said. She's going to sit here and try to complain about she doesn't read smut. Yes, she does. No, it, I read not all the time. Things. It's not like every book, but every once in a while, it's what it is. So don't give me that shit. Um, anyways, I'm going to go. Scotty does what he wants. He's the producer of this son of a bitch. <laughs> 100%. Uh, I'm going to go with one that uh, I, I actually really, I, I do quite frequently, and that is just going to be YouTube. Uh, yeah. You, I, I, I will. Yeah, I will. got a problem. I do I have a problem. You, I watch YouTube more than Cable. any other yep. thing. I do. For sure. I do. Uh, I mean, I'm never on YouTube. And there's like different different categories that i i will never run out of videos in so i I don't have to worry about that so all right jp you get two in a row bbc okay that's the british channel right nope oh 
big black cock. <laughs> right. Damn. Isn't that the British Channel? Yeah. Hmm. It is. Yeah. It is. British Broadcasting. Kissing mm-hmm. something. Something. Yeah. Uh, and then your next channel, probably. Yeah, yeah, channel. Yeah, <laughs> British Broadcasting Channel. Absolutely, that's what it is. Yes. Uh, what's uh, your next one? UMC. Okay, that is not. That's uncut that, Mexican cock. Oh, got it. So okay. you got both there. Oh, all Sometimes right. Sometimes I do it at the same time. Okay. That's, On a good day. Uh, oh, okay. I uh, like to call it Saturday. <laughs> 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 all right. Um. Fuck! I'm trying to. Oh yeah. All right. I, I'm. I'm. I'm gonna go with uh, the thing that I'm. I'm apparently supposed to be really good at. I've won four years in a row, but I don't know if I'm gonna do it this year. Oh That's god! What you said last year, fantasy football. fantasy football. We all knew it was yeah. Good. Yeah. Because yeah, it. Gay. Don't care. It's fucking awesome. It's a lot of fucking fun. I like it a yeah, lot. Yeah, dude. I'm so glad you do. Yeah. All right. Me and uh, yeah. Because it keeps him the fuck away from you. <laughs> I wouldn't blame you. She played one year. Yeah. I, yeah. She did good and too, she, right? She did better yeah, than yeah, I yeah, did. Yeah, right. In the family. Not league. surprised. I had fun with it. Yep. And you get your last two picks there, honey. Okie dokie. He's what talking was to you. I just think. <laughs> Clear <laughs> there. Um, probably like sweets. Okay. That's uh, sweet tooth. Yeah, she does. Um, she brings home like those fucking like sprinkled donuts and stuff like that, and then like yeah. I always cookies. look at the yeah. Krispy Kremes or by the checkout at Dylan's. Yeah, and I always look at like what is their fancy flavors right now, and if I'm like those look good, coming home with me. Nice. Yep. Uh, she'll even get like those fucking like loaded tacos, like the sweet. Have you heard seen taco these? tacos? Like kind of like that, only they're like. There were, you just got him this last time. I, I I don't know. You ate the fuck out of him. No, now. he's talking about cookies. It's oh. a cookie with frosting and another cookie. Oh, okay. I don't know. Oh yeah, what that's you a ta- I was like, what? Loaded are you taco. About? It looked like a loaded uh, taco to me. Loaded taco it cookie. Was like All a right. cookie sandwich, uh, yeah, but okay. not ice cream. Right. Like Fair. Frosting. Um, and now I have no idea what is another <laughs> vice of mine. Uh, well, um, uh, let's see. Uh, online shopping. Oh, nice. fuck. Good one. Damn it. Really good one. I think that was actually going to be maybe my my last pick. Well, but tough I don't fucking know. shit. It's not yeah. Now. Okay. All right. I got it. I am going to go with sports memorabilia. That's, it's not near as much as Derek's. Yeah. But uh, I have a lot. I actually have in the studio a lot of it that's not even hung up because I'm terrified that like something bad's going to happen to it or something. So yeah. I'm going to go with sports memorabilia. Awesome. All right, JP, what's your last one? Do you want to smoke some of the best weed in Kansas? <laughs> going with porn. <laughs> porn, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, that's right. If you uh, if you, you ever, get, if you get on Pornhub much, <laughs> you're going to get that commercial here and there. <laughs> That's very oh. true. Anyways, uh, does anybody have any like um, honorable honorable mentions? mentions? I like actual vices that are not mine, but just drugs in general. Yeah, heroin was a good one. Oh, is that, mean, yeah, that's know. a little bit more of a vice yeah, nowadays. Right. Um, I almost said politics because uh, that's yeah, a, I could see that. That's not know, a yeah, horrible yeah. answer because yeah. because while you really enjoy it, it's probably terrible for your fucking soul. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. So, but awesome. Yeah. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, you can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines or X, which is at L O T sidelines and vote for the list that you think JP, is the vote best, for me. best vices. And let me tell you guys something because of uh, two of JP's picks eh, make it three of BBC. JP's picks. Yeah. You are voting because you are also, um, that's not true. <laughs> don't don't try to handicap me, you son of a bitch. Just saying, if you do vote, just because you that, vote for me doesn't mean you like UMC. I'm just saying, maybe, but it might. But it might. These In fact, what you also like, they're just exactly. The best list. No, I think it's what you also like because all of you who doesn't vote, have to be. It's just you, whoever has the funniest and best fact, list. Also, who which would be me? If you vote for JP, he is going to look at the people who voted for him and check you out on your social media to see if you're interested because he needs somebody to take good care of. I really do. He's not <laughs> wrong. Uh, yeah. 
It's not a joke. Uh, but anyway. <laughs> I wish it was. <laughs> but anyways, now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, then this is this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang. Oh, uh-huh. call back. Maybe. Maybe. Possibly. Uh, but yes, it is also uh, sponsored to you today by Mr. JP. <laughs> That's enough. Uh, but more importantly, um, my wife. Hello, my wife. <laughs> I like her. And 10 years of marriage. That's what it's sponsored by this week. Um, But yeah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we actually got a pretty darn good shitty situation this week from a listener. This actually comes in from somebody named Travis Grooms. And you know, it just seemed to be a very fitting shitty situation. Mm -hmm. Goes really good with the show. And so this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation is, would you rather be in the building or the plane on September 11th. Oh, man, that's tough. No, it's Depends. not. And that kind of is, man. No, it's not. Yeah. I don't think so. I would rather be well, in the hold building. On. Since you said that, let yeah. n- oh, See, and I say the opposite. I would rather be in the plane. So, but here's the thing. Maybe me too. I would rather be in the building if there was at least a chance I was going to make it out. Right. But if I was like on one of those floors where the plane hit, yeah. or I knew that that I was going to die of fucking smoke inhalation or jump. Yeah. Because that, look, I the jumpers, dude, I, uh, that's, dude, I don't think I could just sit there and let myself no. fucking be burnt alive. I think I'd jump. Right, I think I would have yeah. done it too. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, if if I, there's, there's no way that I'm going to survive it, then for sure the plane. That's true. But, but I'd, I'd want to be one of the terrorists. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Wow, wow, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh no, no, no. I mean, what's oh. going on here? <laughs> no. This is, this is taking a turn. No, Thank you, Travis. Yeah, I appreciate, appreciate it, Travis. Uh, but uh, uh, go, go ahead. ahead. Honey, you go, go ahead. Because you're no, insane. Yeah, yeah, I said the plane because I want to be yeah. out quick. No. I'm, I'm terrified, terrified of, of planes. Right. I'm, I'm dead on this. You're fucked either way. I'm terrified of both things. Yeah, you're I'm screwed. I mean, I guess maybe the building because I right. may have a chance. Right. That, because That's I think what I'm I want to say there has been some stories where people were oh, kind of sure. up in that area oh, yeah. and yeah, made it there out. Plenty. There's some people above. Right? There the, were there were a handful of stories right. that were just unreal. There unreal. was the one guy. Mm-hmm. The, he was he was a middle, little Middle Eastern guy too, mm-hmm. but uh, he was trapped like in behind a wall or something, and this other guy somehow heard him. Yeah, and he was leading the other people out and he's like, you guys go ahead. I'm going to, I heard something. I'm going to try to go back and somehow like found the guy wow. was able to get him and pull him out of there and saved his fucking life. That's and, incredible. Uh, like right. there's a documentary of those people like telling their stories and they come cool. seeing each other again. Yeah. Like, for the you know they've become obviously like closer now yeah. closer and yeah. whatever but yeah. i want to be that guy it's nice to see it's nice to see like something yeah. come out of it that's positive you know what i mean yeah there's I, not I, much you know what i'm saying like it's nice to at least see that you know it wasn't yeah, all and fucking I, horror and i get it there's a lot of people who still think that this is a sensitive shub- subject i'm i'm calling a couple of you out it's a sad fucking thing that yeah. happened but oh, at, yeah. at this point it, it's fair game. It's been 23 years. Yeah. Uh, but no, I'm I'm going to be in the building. I can't do the plane. Yeah, that's what I said, too. I, I, uh, yeah, I'm going, I'm going that route. So, yeah. And if you think that you would be one or the other, leave us a comment in the uh, in, in the comment section. Let us know what you would rather have been because that's not going to get docked or anything no, like that. No, not at all. <laughs> We're going to get monetized any day now. I'm sure of it. <laughs> <laughs> you can even just list A or B yeah. if you want to be really smart about it. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, it was an excellent, excellent episode. I'm very, Had very, fun. I'm very, very thankful for I'm both. Glad, I'm glad we did this again. Yeah, I am yeah, too. I'm thrilled. I, I am. I'm Are very you ready thrilled. for tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? This is so much fun. Let's fucking do it again tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so very, very much. Thank you to my wife. Thank you to JP. I really do appreciate uh, the the ability to do an emergency episode because of bullshit. So thank you both very much. You both are very, very important to me. I really oh. do mean that. Uh, and so are you listeners out there. The reason why we had to do this because... Well, fuck. Well... <laughs> now I don't feel special at all. Well, the reason why we want to put out an episode every week is because Everyone. of you for guys. For you guys. Yeah. yeah the support for is, sure. is awesome. Keep it is on awesome. doing what you're doing. And uh, guys, uh, we sincerely do appreciate it. And as we always like to say, guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. But if you don't like us... We hope your vice is cocaine and it's laced with fentanyl. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like us, tell your enemies and until next time guys batteries plus if it needs a battery we have it plus <laughs> uh -huh. until next time keep, keep laughing, laughing assholes. assholes we will see you later take care